Matt Kuchar's a golfer. He's a good golfer. Very good golfer. Won 15 events. Apparently last fall he won a golf classic that I didn't watch and haven't heard of. And his caddy, not his regular caddy, but his caddy at the time recently said, that guy took advantage of me. Matt Kuchar said, we had a deal. 4000 bucks if I got in the top 10. Kuchar won it, gave him an extra 1000 Gravy on top. Kuchar said, making 5000 is a great week. People are upset that Matt Kuchar won $1.3 million. And Matt Kuchar only gave him $5,000. So let's talk about that. Matt Kuchar in this caddy, that was not his normal caddy. He was outsourced. They had an agreed upon rate. $1,000 to the caddy if he missed the cut. $2,000 made the cut. $3,000 top 20. $4,000 top 10. He actually won it and he gave an extra $1,000. So the caddy agreed to the terms. By the way, a $5,000 to carry clubs for three days is outrageous. My staff is asking to work for Matt Kuchar. Matt Kuchar's excellent. The hardest league in the world to make is the PGA. Literally, you have a bad week, you don't get paid. You have a bad hole, you don't get paid. They can eliminate you from the tour if you don't win enough. I mean, the Pelicans, they can't even get a trade pulled off. They don't lose their franchise. So Matt Kuchar has 15 tournament wins. He's won with several caddies. So the question now, not the answer, is what's the value of a caddy? Now, this was not bones to Phil Mickelson, a longtime caddy, no longer but a longtime caddy that Phil Mickelson absolutely trusted and relied on. This was not Jordan Spieth's caddy. I mean, he's in that guy's ear every shot. This was an outsourced caddy who Matt Kuchar was not going to rely on nearly as much as somebody he lives, breathes, travels with. It's not bones with Mickelson. So if you have an outsourced caddy and I'm struggling with the value of For instance, if John took the day off and I had an outsourced producer who I would not rely on as heavily, then he is worth the terms you agree to. Colin, but Kuchar won. Dak Prescott's won the NFC East two of the last three years. You get a tip for it? Russell Wilson won a Super Bowl. Do you get a tip for it? The people supporting the caddy can't even come up with a satisfactory amount. I listened the last two days. Hosts, callers, golf pros, experts, 50,000 minimum. Next caller, at least 100. Golf pro calls a radio show. Ah, 10, 15%. That's standard. So the experts, the callers, the hosts, You can't even come to terms. You're not even close. So when you outsource somebody and there is a discrepancy in the considered value of said outsourced employee, you go to the value, the the agreement, the handshake, the terms of the agreement. I'm listening to everybody tell me what Kuchar should have paid him. And by the way, everybody's always got an opinion on everybody else's money. Michael Jordan donated a couple million dollars a few years ago for some natural disasters. Everybody's like, ah, he's cheap. It's his money. Two million bucks. It's two million bucks. Doesn't matter what he makes. I don't go to a restaurant. You don't get a better tip because I have more money than the guy sitting next to me. My money. I'm going to tip you on service, not on my income. But Matt Kuchar's agent offered the caddy 15 grand. The caddy turned it down and went public. This was not a typical caddy. This is an outsourced. This is what corporate America does. And so there's always questions on the value of any employee that is not a full-time employee, that is not a long-time trusted, relied-upon employee. When it comes to the outsourcing thing, what are the terms? Let's agree to them. 
And in this instance, the caddy did a bad job figuring out what his value was. I know that's not a popular take. I know nobody agrees listening to me. But there's a difference between, let's say I had a driver that drove me around Los Angeles. I don't, but let's say I did. The tip would be much different than the Uber driver who I have no relationship with. Who doesn't make the trip as comfortable, as seamless, and as trustable, even if he gets me to the restaurant I'm going to. So once you have an outsourced employee, that's based on terms. It's not the same relationship as Mickelson and Bones. And I know that's not popular, but listening to everybody inform me and educate me on what you should pay him was so random and arbitrary. Had he tipped him 25 grand, you'd have still ripped him. Most of the callers thought at minimum $50,000 to carry clubs. Hell of a weekend. So it was five grand actually. 